we have found the holy grail of trading strategies and it's called the CPR trading strategy. In this video, we'll uncover the power of CPR pivot points and reveal step by step how you can use them to dominate the markets. Trust me, you don't want to miss this game changing information. So grab a notepad and buckle up because we're about to take your trading game to the next level. As always, nothing in this video is financial advice. It's all for informational purposes only. On TradingView, we're going to add the following advanced pivot point indicator called SD Central Pivot Range Indicator. And as mentioned today, we are going to show you some powerful ways of using it. Overall, trading support and resistance levels using pivot points is a powerful strategy that can help you identify potential high probability trade opportunities. But before we start using the SD CPR indicator, we need to make an adjustment to the settings for the indicators to do this. Under the inputs tab of the SD CPR indicator, we are going to change the period from seven to 100. Firstly, pivot points are calculated by taking the average of the high, low, and closing prices of the previous trading day. The calculation provides traders with a point of reference for the current day's trading levels, helping you to determine areas where the market may encounter support or resistance. The SD CPR indicator is used to identify these key pivot points in price action and all can also be used to identify trends and market consolidation phases. The indicator consists of three components, the upper line, which represents the top central pivot range, the middle line, which is the main pivot line, and the bottom line, which represents the bottom central pivot range. Using the pivot points as support and resistance levels is a basic way to use this indicator. What makes it useful is that the pivot points remain consistent across different time frames, allowing all traders to see the same levels. This makes pivot points more reliable as levels of support or resistance as many traders are observing these levels. The central pivot range can also be used to identify the overall trend. For example, if the price is trading above the CPR indicator, it suggests an uptrend. If the CPR is higher than the previous day, it confirms the uptrend. Conversely, if the price is trading below the CPR, it indicates a downtrend. And if the CPR is lower than the previous day, it confirms the downtrend. One of the key aspects of the CPR indicator that it uh, that's often overlooked is the width of the bands. However, before move, moving forward, if you haven't already, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. The reason why the width of the CPR is important is because the wide CPR is stronger and more challenging for the price action to break through. This means that the wider CPR usually provides more support or resistance. You can see this on the chart where the price rejected off of the wider CPR range. On the other hand, wide central pivot ranges can also indicate that the market is ranging. This is because the price action will come close to the CPR only to immediately reject it, causing the market to range. In contrast to a wide CPR, a narrow CPR is usually less reliable as a support or resistance zone. It's important not to base your entry solely on a narrow CPR since there's a high chance that the price will break through the zone. However, a narrow CPR can also indicate that the market is entering a trend, trending phase. After a narrow CPR band is formed, the price can make a big move, causing the market to start heavily trending. To use a CPR indicator to enter positions, you'll first need to identify the trend of the market by looking at the position of the CPR and whether the price is trading above or below it. If the position of the CPR is higher than the previous day, you'll be looking for buy positions. Conversely, if the position of the CPR is lower than the previous day, you'll be looking for sell positions. Next, you'll need to consider the width of the CPR. If there are large gaps between the lines of the CPR, you can assume that the price will find support or resistance at that price level. However, keep in mind that the wide CPR might cause the markets to range. If you notice that the CPR is narrow, keep in mind that the market might be trending that day. Since the CPR is narrow, you should also be prepared for the price to break through the CPR since it will offer less support or resistance. Here are some trading examples using the CPR indicator. The best way to use the CPR indicator is in conjunction with other technical analysis tools, such as trend lines and price action analysis to identify high probability trade opportunities. On the chart, we've got the USD JPY on the hourly time frame. Firstly, 
we need to identify the overall trend in the market. From the chart, you'll notice that the CPR indicator is forming higher highs and that the price action is currently above the CPR indicator. You can also draw a trend line as a visual confirmation of the uptrend. Next, we are waiting for the breakout and retest of the CPR indicator for our entry. Remember to consider the width size before entering. After the retest of the zone, you can enter your buy trade with your stop loss below the swing low or outer band and aim for a minimum of one to one and a half risk to reward. Next, we are going to take a look at another buy side example. However, this time is going to be on a different time frame. As always, it's always best to test the indicator against the time frame and the instrument that you like to trade, right? On the chart, we have gold on a 15 minute time frame. First, we identify the overall trend in the market. You'll notice that the CPR indicator is forming higher highs, showing us an uptrend, which can be confirmed with the trend line. Next, we are waiting for a breakout and retest of the CPR indicator for our entry. You'll notice that the width of the CPR is very narrow, showing us indecision in the previous day. After the bullish engulfing candle away from the zone, you can enter your buy trade with a stop loss below the swing low or outer band and aim for a risk or reward of a minimum of 1 to 1.5. Alternatively, you can set your take profit at the next level of market structure. Now that, now that you know how to use the indicator for a buy, let's take a look at a sell trade example. First, we need to identify that we are currently in a downtrend. You'll notice that the price action and CPR indicators are forming lower lows after the break of structure. Next, we need to wait for the retest of the CPR zone to enter the short trade. You'll also notice that if you extend the CPR channels, that these will often be important areas of market structure. Enter your sell trade with a stop loss above the swing high or outer band and aim for a minimum of 1.5 reward. The SD CPR indicator can be used alongside any existing strategy, to, so make sure you test it out for yourself. As always, it's best to just test the strategy against the instrument time frame that you like to trade. The strategy and trading view indicators for the CPR trading strategy used in this video are completely free to use. But if you're looking for an amazing premium indicator, I personally use Lux Algo Premium for my trading and I highly recommend it to anyone that wants more success in the market. It's trusted by over 50,000 traders. I've got a link to it in the description below, so make sure you check it out. If you want to see the trades that I'm actually making, like this one that I recently posted that got an 84% return, check out my free Telegram channel and join my all-access Patreon. Links to those are in the description below as well. If you want to become a better trader and make more money, be sure to check out this next video. I'll see you on the next one.